Hello literature lovers, today as you can see I am discussing the first novel written by George Eliot which is the pseudonym of Mary Ann Evans. She is a female author, not talking about the work, Adam Bate published 1859 but first discussing George Eliot, how that thing that how female have to hide their name in order to publish their work, it's quite strange, but it is part of it. Talking about her major works, she really recognized it well, the works. These are the major works. I personally refer you Milan the Floss is so good and not to forget Silas Marna. Rural Life, another very special work, Romela, talking about the Renaissance in Italy. Really great work, all of them. Not to forget Felix, Middlemarch, it's my personal favorite. So good the way it is so clinged with history really enrich you from head to toe. Now the work which we are going to discuss and the metabolism and the pastoral beauty filled with psychological characters, all of them. These are the characters of the work. In You can see in her first work only, we can find such a great variety and complexity that it is still being studied in many universities and it's part of the curriculum. Another work in the flaws and very famous character Maggie Tulliver. So really my personal favorite one. Because it is autobiographical also when we we'll get a glimpse of the personality of the author. We really get intrigued to into it. It's my personal trait. You can have your own. These are some of the comments related to it. Mm. This is another work and talking about the distinct rural and lonely life. It's quite common at that time. Talking about a girl. So we can say when a girl is talking about a girl, a portrait is quite clear, isn't it? Do share your comments. Middlemarch, my personal favorite. And especially the grandeur and the ill matched with the meanness of the opportunity. It's so good. Such a great variety. If you can get a glimpse of it, it's really helpful for you. Even the subtitle itself tells a lot about it. No doubts filled with always we can find in her works the psychological study and then it is related to the work and you can study it in detail you have a lot of things to be discussed here no doubt we can find so many points and how the human nature with moral and that civilization and then all the things you know tragedy of human life not to forget adam bay this is the major work which we are discussing and the novel has remained in print ever since and is regularly used in university studies of 19th century literature. That is what I was saying. It is so widely recognized, so much loved since now after its publication. So you can feel that it is so special not to forget the way it is portrayed, the work is such a great vast variety and that storyline talks about it and personally like those things which are quite related to reality and it is a historical novel so you can really relate to the many things that come across with it and the points really here will help you in better understanding of the things and you can get really into that new world in which you can understand it. This is personally my reference, how you can think about it. You can pause the video and then 
you can reach the each and every point and go through it dialogues are quite special the storyline and it should it is some of that work that should be discussed and studied in quite detail and you can imagine how at that pressure point at that point of time how she was able to write and confidently study in detail the things in that era so it is special in no doubt how it is the importance of wordsworth's lyrical ballad to the way adam bade is written has often been noted like wordsworth's poems adam bade features minutely detailed empirical and psychological observation about literate common folk so you can get really glimpse of that common world it is because of their greater proximity to nature than to culture are taken as emblematic of human nature in its more pure form no doubt we can really get you know some kind of genre painting is there talking about the world in such a clear and, and more so behind it there is a humble appearance and this is a novel of great ambition seeking to manifest in novelistic form a key principle of as was aesthetic philosophy which i personally you know admit that work should be taken into aesthetic form and should be taken as an art which you can really enrich you and you can praise it genre painting in the novel that arouse together as middle class art forms and retained the close connections until the end of the 19th century in fact according to richard strang it was a french treatise of 1846 on dutch and flemish painting that first popularized the application of the term realism to fiction so that realism thing which really add to the beauty the theory of the novel in england and refers to arista house and house de la it's a paris town so it's french i'm not good at so much at it they talk about it and argues that it's certain that george it is with the dutch and flemish and english genre painting transformation force as uh, all genres being touched in clear light consequences are there and the genre painting that george eliot's realism is most often compared and she has an wise the comparison in chapter number 17 of adam bain and you can really talk about its work and no doubt immediately recognized as a significant literary work her first work this is her first novel not to forget and it was really recognized and it really enjoyed a really positive critical reputation since its publication so you can imagine the grandeur of the work that it was recognized in such a huge manner in fact in 1859 review and it is praised as a novel of the highest class in fact in the times magazine called it the first rate novel in another review any morris morsley was first to speculate that novel was probably written by a woman this is a very special thing that ann mosley was the first person who recognized that such kind of work can only be written by a woman so very special thing if you can recognize you know contemporary you was often influenced by nostalgia for the earlier period it is present in bed these are some of the questions which are also solved and praise that eliot's characterization 
and realistic representation of Durga. It is Charles Dickens who wrote that the whole country life that the story is set in is so real and so droll and genuine and yet so selected and polished by art that I cannot praise it enough to you. So you can see such a great man, Charles Dickens in fact, praised her first novel and the one who really portrayed the rural life in such a great manner really loved it. I hope you will also love this work. Be part of it. Thanks for listening.